Stop being so dramatic, he chastised. We've had this discussion a million times. I'm not risking having everything I've worked for wiped away in an instant because you wish to believe in some silly notion of true love. My father had grown up poor, but with hard work and determination to change the course of his life, he ended up founding the largest law firm on the entire East Coast. Early on in his career, he'd taken on two partners, Brian Kruger and Curtis Dawn my father being the managing partner of the group. One day, he'd hand down his position to me. What if I don't want to inherit the firm someday? What if I want to follow my own path? I was being stubborn, one of the attributes I had in common with my father. I worked at Winthrop, Kruger, and Dawn, half of my caseload being pro bono. It was my passion to help those less fortunate, to assist them in their time of need. Just because they couldn't afford proper representation didn't mean justice shouldn't be served. My father allowed me to be the bleeding heart of the firm because he thought it made us look even more valuable in the eyes of the public. Sympathetic. Goliath fighting for David. Anger embraced his demeanor, his otherwise cool facade cracking ever so slightly. You know damn well you won't walk away from the firm, not when you can eventually employ an entire team dedicated to working for the indigent. And that, my dearest daughter, is more important to you than who you marry. We both know it. So stop resisting and be happy. I know I am. That's only because you can control Chris. And I'm sure he's agreed to an ironclad prenup. <laughs>